From a distance, things seem to be going well in Charlottetown. Tell me how you feel about it from your perspective. Yeah, I've just uh, I've been lucky to get the opportunity. Uh, the coaching staff has given me the opportunity to play and show my skill. And uh, ever since I got drafted, they told me uh, here to play hockey and play your game. So I've been doing that, and I've been getting a great opportunity to get power play time and uh, big minutes. So I'm just taking that for, uh, as advantage and showing off my skill, and it's been working. What were your expectations coming in? I mean, as a rookie, did you have any idea? I'm just say you're, you're getting uh, some opportunity on special teams that 16-year-olds don't normally get. Yeah, I knew uh, I knew it was going to be a tough task coming in, but uh, I didn't really set any goals for myself because you're either going to set them too low or too high and then fail at the end of the year. So I decided to take it game by game and just play every game like it's my last game. What do you see your strengths are? What, what, what do you feel are your, your strengths going forward? So obviously you can still polish those skills, but what do you feel your strengths are? Uh, I tried to uh, copy like my two favorite players in the NHL, uh, Patrick Kane and Nick Kovalchuk. I try to grab their strengths I, out of their game and put them into my game. Of course, I'm an offensive-minded uh, player, so I like attacking the puck from the rush, but I can also score and I can also pass. I try to be a deceptive player, never knowing what I will do. And uh, Kane is really good at me keeping the puck away and his hands and uh, making plays and turning and doing creative things. And Kovalchuk, of course, is known for the shot and the speed he has and coming attacking from the attacking from the neutral zone, attacking the Ds. So I try to play my game around that because I know I'm an offensive-minded and I think those two players fit perfectly into my category where I would like to be one day. Every player's got weaknesses. What do you consider your perhaps greatest weakness? Greatest weakness, I think it's just uh, getting better in both zones, uh, defensive zone and the uh, offensive zone. Of course, you're always going to be better in the offensive zone, but just because I'm an offensive minor player, I sometimes try to cheat in the defensive zone, which I got to stop and become a, a full two way hockey player. That's that's my weakness, I would say, a bit of the defensive zone. You know what, he's, uh, he's, he's arrived as advertised, and uh, you know, we knew that he was an exceptional talent coming out of midget, uh, but uh, you know, we really see the impact that he's had on our team. and. You know, over the first few months has been has been great. So uh, he uh, he's a go-to guy for us already at 16 years old. He's got uh, uh, obviously offensive ability, but uh, you know he's he's rounding into a to a, to a well-rounded player as well. How do you manage that? He's a go-to guy at 16 years of age. I mean, sometimes 17-year-olds perhaps, or an 18-year-old, but a 16-year-old. Well, I think it's a, it's important to teach them. You know that. Uh, you know, obviously, the opportunity has to be earned, and uh, you know Daniel's a guy that's very focused, has a lot of what I call inner fuel. He's, he's very self-motivated, and he wants to be a player. And uh, you know, when you want to be a player, you, you take care of, uh, of all the details and, and pay attention to, to all those aspects of your game. And uh, he works very hard in practice. He's well conditioned, and uh, you know he, he comes ready to play every game. I see a lot of uh, Nathan McKinnon and, and Daniel. You know, he got some of those same tendencies. Uh, he wants the puck, he wants to shoot, has that great uh, separation speed. He can get up to a high gear real quick. He can be beside you and be five feet in front of you within two seconds. You know, he can just separate himself. Uh, he has that ability to score, and he wants to score just like Nathan was. I don't, I don't put the Nathan tag on him, but uh, he's a guy that, again, it's all about scoring. And those guys are coming to more of a premium in the National High Cleaves are tougher, tougher to find.